wall mount rotisserie. Let's get started on the build. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some of these discs. I got these off of Amazon, these are 10 inch. Uh, they're a little thicker than six tanks. I ain't sure of the thickness of it, but I'll put a description in the comments or comment below so you know where to find them. And also we're gonna need one of these little motors. This is a 110. Five to six RPM per minute. So, we we'll need some of them. I'll put a description on that. The first thing we'll do is we're going to have to glue some of these together. And what it's got is these are not really real straight. I don't know if you can see it. They're cupped a little bit. But as long as you put the cup, glue them, and put your cups opposite of each other and squeeze them together it'll pretty much come out straight. Well, that's what the other ones I've done. That's how I've done these, so. And you're gonna also need some three quarter. And this, this is the hot water pipe uh, plumbing stuff. It's not the, the cold water, it's hot water. Some three eighths dowel rod. I've got three foot. On the, this stuff you can get local. And you're gonna need a three eighths rod. So you can build these little deals to hold your lure. I'm knocking stuff off. All right, let's uh, get one glued up and mark it out. All right, let's get the old glue on it. We get good coverage, and I need something to. I want to use my finger. I screw it. Let's use my finger. I don't care. It's just glue. Just don't eat it like you did in school. I know you did. Well, maybe not this glue. The Amherst glue you did. Let me get it close to the edge. I just don't want to squeeze it all out. I'm trying to get the main part. And I don't think you'd have to get 100% coverage on it. I'm putting my cup, the best I can see it going up. And then I use some of these uh, paper clips. I don't know where the camera's at. There it is. And that's the one we'll put around the edge. Just kind of help hold it till the glue dries. And you don't want to get, if you're going to make one of these, you don't want to get over the 10 inch on these little motors. These little motors are, they got a lot of torque when, as long as you're up close. But the bigger you get, the less torque you get. I'll show you that. Let me get this on here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now what I'll do is I want to put something underneath this. Let's put some paint can underneath. I'm going to put something heavy on top of this, which can be a little paint can or it can be a uh, just anything really, sandbag, bucket, whatever. Or you may not even need it, but I like to do that anyway. And here's why I was talking about the tool. Normally the motors are real, you, they got a lot of torque. If you, your small circles are hard to stop, but when you get a bigger circle, you can literally just stop it and make it go back the other way. Which kind of helps if you need to stop and put a lure on, you can just stop it and then let go. All right, now that we've got that, we'll let that dry and then we're gonna mark out. 
next thing I'll do is uh, find center. I'm using one of these center finders. These work good for dowels, different squares. It's got different sizes on each side. I mean, this is just easy. Just to make sure I get a direct line in the center. I wish I had a bigger one. And it's just a little under 10 inches wide. It's actually nine and three quarters. So you have to just, just adjust on your deal. A little piece of paper here to that's square. Sort of. Now I'll drill a little small hole in here, and this is where all oh yeah, these are, you're gonna need some of these. These are plumbing fittings. These are three quarters, and they're for the uh, hot water. I would I would use just a regular cold water one, but a uh, local store didn't have any that was flat on top, and I kind of need one that's flat. So, and what I'll do is I'll just glue them down, and I'll just eyeball this in between here. And what I'm doing is eight per deal. I got 16 in here, I'm gonna build two of them today. <laughs> Of that part other than drill the hole so let me uh and i'm just going to use epoxy to glue these down some uh probably just going to use the 30 minute uh five minute i won't have enough time to mix everything and get them all on there so i'll just use the 30 minute let me get these glued down and i'll show you how to drill the hole and get ready to mount the motor let's put a little bit on the bottom not going to take a lot I use boss alerts and crankbaits, so it's not going to be real heavy. Of course, I'm going to have to let this dry for a while, but I'm getting dings on messenger. Sorry about that. Get them where I need them, let them dry. Alright. I'm doing is cutting this four inches. Get a mark here, this is going to be my center mark. I'm going to drill my hole at. So. I'm drilling a three quarter hole there. Let me get this cut. First. Got is a one inch paddle bit, one inch paddle bit. So I'm gonna drill the whole center.
And then what I got, I got some scrap, uh, the reason I chose one inch is I have some scrap of uh, one inch pipe. PVC, this is just white pipe I had laying around. So what I've done is cut a little slice of it off. I don't know if you can see it light back here or not. And then I put a little notch in here. Because this is actually bigger than the than the one inch. So I use that little notch to squeeze it together. That way it fits in there pretty tight. That way my dowel goes through there. I'll have to sand just a little bit of the dowel because it almost, it fits, but it's too tight. So I'll have to clean the end of the dowel off. The dowel rod, I guess what you would call it. Three quarter, so. And I'll just sand that off with, by hand. Belt sander, uh, ain't gonna take much. It just needs to turn real freely. And I don't have to do the whole entire thing. All I need to do is about an inch and a half of it, inch and a quarter. The only one that's sticking through about that far. So I'm gonna sand about that much of it. And another trick too you can do if you want to use some use a pocket knife, razor knife, and just scrape. And what it does, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually take a little bit off. Hold it perpendicularly and do that. Work your way around. Actually, sometimes this works faster than hand sewing. Especially if you just need to get just a little bit. Go all the way around. I'm slowly turning it as I do it. See, if I go back too far, it'll hang up. So I need to be right there. And that spins pretty freely. And I think that'll, I think that'll do it. So I need to measure, mark. So I only want just a little bit hanging out. I say that's good right there. And I'm gonna mark the back side. That's where I'm gonna cut it at. If I'm putting a quarter inch forester bit in, I can go in there. And I gotta drill a whole center here so that the motor will slide into there. Just like that. I need to find the center. I guess I need to mark center on it. Or close enough. That looks good. That's how it go. I squeeze it all the way down there. A little tough. But... <clears throat> and then I gotta drill a hole for that little pin to go into. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm just kind of lining it up where it needs to be. Marking it. Put a little X there. Now I'm gonna slide it on, making sure 
and it fits tight. Okay, I should be able to drill my hole right there on that little X and put a pin in it. That gives me room back here for this to slide in there like this. Just like that. And the motor should turn freely. But we'll find out here in a minute once I put the pin in and bolt this down if I have to adjust. Because sometimes you may have to adjust this a little bit or you may have to leave it a little bit loose to give it a little more play. We'll go into the room. We're going to well, done, put a couple little screws in the back. Hold it in place. We got that sticking out. We'll stick the wires in the in the outlet. Don't try this at home. But I've been shocked so many times. I don't even care no more. I don't know if you can see that or not, but let me get this a little closer. Running pretty smooth. And this is what I was talking about. Remember one I showed you earlier, if you just barely touch it, it'll go back the other direction. I can't hold that. There, I've got it held that time. But it's tough. <coughs> oh, not that time. Nope, not that time. All right, I'm gonna take it apart and put that pin in. All right, I'm gonna drill my pin out now. All right, just a little bit. This is what I'm gonna use. It's just one of my twist eyelets. You can use a clothes hanger. It's big enough to put a clothes hanger in there. You just have to use a bigger drill bit. So I'm just going to use this. Since it's handy. And then I'm just going to bend it over. And I'll be in the top part over too if I get a hold of it. I think it'd be out of the way though, but just like that. Should be plenty of room for it to go around. Get the wires out of the way. But I'll do a double check just to make sure that the wire's not in the way. And I ain't over tightening this motor down, just kind of just snugging it. Stick the wires back in the outlet. Make sure it does a full revolution and not hang up. If it does, you can adjust your motor a little bit, maybe take the tension off it. But I heard a little growl. I don't know if you all heard that or not. Okay, we're good. That's how you mount the motor. Now, I've got some pieces of scrap pieces of plywood I'm going to put on the sides. I still got to drill the center hole out here. And now I'll be done with this little drill bit. Just like so. That's done. That way, uh, I'll step back dry. But there, I can't explain. That way, I'll mount that like that, and then it'll mount to the wall. Okay. All right. Uh, go. All right. I cut some pieces of wood. This is half inch plywood, some scrap pieces, and I cut them four inch long, three inches wide. And then I'm going to screw these to the sides. I'm using just some whatever screws I got laying around. That's pretty loud.
like that. And I'm gonna drill some holes at angles here with my drill. And this is how we're gonna attach it to the wall. Actually, it don't need to be, but I don't know why I thought. You can do four, two screws on each side if you want to, but one on each side is plenty. Uh, you can use the brackets. That's about it. And leave the back open because these motors do get a little hot. They're not really like hot, 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 but they get real warm. So I leave them open, that way it has some kind of airflow to go through on the back side when it's against the wall. And that's the only reason I don't box it completely in is because of that right there. And you don't want to countersink these motors in the wood because it'll make them get even hotter. So as long as this motor is exposed outside and not boxed in anything, it'll, it won't get that hot and it will, uh, the heat will have a place to run off to. All right, let's see. What I need to do now is to... <coughs> Excuse me. Mount it to the wall. I'm just going to try to eyeball this to. I got. I have no idea how to eyeball this to make it look straight, but I'm going to give it my best shot. There should be plenty of room there. We hope. There, that's solid. I ain't going nowhere. And then I'll just have to run my wires. I'll probably just tie them in with this one, this other, because these two are on one deal. Let me show you. Draw one. Wait, is it right one? Yeah, these, these two run together. Just for this, and so I'll probably put the other two together with these. And then later on, I'll run some switches to where I can turn each individual one off. Let me go show you what I need to do. Where's that? To make these. Can you hang on anything? Where you at? Like that. In the three quarter uh, hot water pot. And all I want to do is. That's pretty unsquare. Uh, Where's my guide at? Where's my guide? Let's see my guide. Uh, where's my guide? Okay. Uh, I'll cut it on a chop saw, I guess. Excuse me, all the wiggling around. I don't like cutting these on chop saw because they tend to bounce off. So, so I'm going to cut one and then uh, show you how to put it together and then I'll make a bunch more. I have a mark here, one inch. That's all it takes. Just a one inch piece. Okay. Okay, this is a three quarter dowel again, but I need to make it where it will slide into here. It's a little too big, and I couldn't find one that actually fit inside here. So I'm going to take the belt sander, belt, yeah, belt sander, and grind some of it off. Cut it flush, glue it in, and uh, get my other piece going.
Now I just got a little dowel in here. I like to cut these about two inches. I'm just kind of estimating the gas on it. So I'll, what, I'll do this first. I'm gonna split the end. Stick it. Couple of slot in it. Where the bill will fit and the lure. Make different ones well, depending on what kind of lures you build. I'll be a crankbait, of course, and these work fine. So now I need to drill a small hole in there, glue that all together, and that's what I'll get. Now, all you do is just epoxy them together, and don't go all the way. All the way to the other end of that. It seems like it uh, it actually will fit in there better if you leave a little space. I don't know why. It just seems like it. I got the whole drill, three eighths, three eighths dowel rod. Just glue them all together. And that's how you make them. Pretty simple, cheap, easy, and they work good. Let's get the wheel mounted. A little bit of glue. I like put a little bit of glue on the back side of this actually up here I'm gonna put it on the screw and this will actually help hold it I mean if you ever have to take it off because of the motor or something goes on you can always just use a jam saw and cut it after you get it off the wall of course ouch let's stab line it up that hole I pre-cut and these are not quite dry so I'm trying to be careful with it. Not get over crazy with it. Something's not right. There we go. And you want to do different directions? You go that way. Alright guys. Alright guys, I'm gals or whoever may be watching. I hope you hope this in, enjoyed this little short video on a builder wall mount rotisserie, especially if you got a small room. I mean my room's not too terribly small. Mine's ten by sixteen. But I hate clutter on a desk, table, which you can see. <laughs> I got clutter everywhere, but that helps. Uh, fairly cheap to build, easy. Catch you all guys on the next one.